Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be giving you a full tutorial on how you can edit videos with the Cyberlink Power Director Mobile app. Let's get started. CalebTemperman.com Press on New Project. Now, give your project a name. Select your project aspect ratio either if it's 16 by 9 or 9 by 16. For this, we're going to go 16 by 9. Select OK. Select our footage. Simply press on footage, we're going to scroll across, you can drag and drop your footage into the timeline, it's that easy. Okay, it's that easy to drag and drop your footage into the timeline, we're going to drag our footage, okay, you can add photos as well if you like, for example, we're going to go to the download section, we're going to add my logo for the and section of it, you can crop it, you can drag it like this for example, select on the layers button, select the title, we're gonna go blocking, and we're gonna add our, our title, name it, and we can edit that later, so video pro, you can make it bold, italic, I like italics, you can change the color, Change the type of color, either if it's a darker or a lighter. Change the font to a font that you like. To get more variety, you can also download other fonts. Adjust the size, either if it's bigger or smaller. Go to the border. You can add a border to your video. You can add a border to your video. Add a shadow to make it even better. Here's our clip. Here's our intro. Press on here. Press cut. You can skip it. You can clip specific footage. Like that. You can add, you know, transitions. For example, cross. Have a look at this epic transition. Pretty cool, hey? You can speed up footage by pressing on this, pressing the pencil icon, pressing speed, and speeding up your footage. Up next, you can clip specific footage like that we can tap on this we can crop we can zoom in to get a closer view of the specific object up next we can add more transitions because transitions make your video better what we can do is you can also change the color of the video too simply by pressing on the video Pressing the pencil icon, pressing color. So if we don't like it, you can go here. You can adjust the brightness to make it more dark or more bright. Adjust the contrast to fix the contrast of a video. Change the saturation to make it better. Have a look how that looks. Doesn't this make your video look so much better than the original? It makes it look more cinematic. You can also add different colors to your video too. Tap on the video, press pencil, press color. You can change specific color to be more specific. For example, this one here. Still, with our settings different, you can change this here to make it even better. You can change the color temperature too to make it match a specific color. Another benefit of Cyberlink Power Director is for the use of chroma key. Simply press on the layers icon, press on video, select your specific video, press on the add button, press OK if it gives you the prompt to convert for better performance. Press on the video, press on the pencil icon, press on chroma, chroma key, press on here, tap on the specific color, tap on here and have a look at the background removed. Or the specific color removed. Let's get started with today's vlog. Okay, let's
you can see that the background the white background has been removed and that is for the power of chroma key we can edit this any of that like a normal video it is that easy another cool thing with cyberlink power director is background music press on the music icon personal music and you can actually do specific music for example this music here you can press on the music press on the pencil icon press on the volume you can change the volume of the music fade in fade out the music so for what I mean by fade out if we go here cut it you can do everything like a video trim it to there this is what I mean by fade out adding music is great on Cyberlink Power Director when you finished press on the produce button pr save when you finished press on the produce button save your project produce button press on produce video save to gallery or SD card I'd say format save it as 4k if you can press settings change it for example external storage you can do what well, your bitrate settings and you can also do your frame rate press ok and then you need to press produce and then your video will save thanks for watching this video caleb